All right, everyone, welcome back to Foundations. We're still in Unit 15. This is the fourth video for this unit, so hopefully you've been keeping up and um, are ready as we get close to finishing it. And we haven't done it in a while, so let's take a look at our trick words. Okay, there are six of them. The first one is January, January. Okay, and here it is. The next one is the month that comes after January, February, February. Okay, and let's take a look at that one. And remember, it's not February, it's February. If you say it correctly, you'll be able to spell it correctly, too. The next one is a month that I'm looking forward to this year, July. July. Okay, here it is. The next one is enough. Enough. I can't get enough fruit on a hot summery day. Enough. Okay, here it is. The next one is December. December. All right, and here is the last one. Special. Special. We had a special meeting at the end of the year. Special. Okay, and here it is. Okay, hopefully you feel comfortable with these and you're able to spell them. Now, let's move on. Okay, so I wanted to explain something that you've seen probably in worksheets and certainly in other videos in units 14 and 15, and that's the different U's uh, that you see here. They're just different ways of helping us identify a sound. Let's start with the pink one. We have that U with the two dots over it, and that's the sound that we get in true and soon and chew, like you have to chew your food, and tune and group. These are not the only ways of making the oo sound, but they were the ones that we've been looking at recently. Then if we move on to the yellow card, that U with a single dot over it, and I know that dot should be in the middle, this is where we get this uh sound, like cook. O-O is not the only way of making this uh sound. We have it in old trick words like would, could, and should. And we even can make it with a U, like put and bull. Okay, so for now, just know that double O can also make this uh sound. Then the green card on the right is where the U actually says its name. So we say cube. You can hear how I said you in that cube. And argue. And human. Okay, so if you see these cards, these U's, with two dots, a single dot, or with a macron over them, don't worry. And if there are other ones. Uh, don't worry. These are just being used to help us uh, organize our sounds a little bit. Okay, let's move on. Okay, let's do something a little different here. We're going to spell and mark these six practice words. We haven't marked very much recently. Uh, although it has been in the homework, and I just want to review it just so you don't forget how to do it. Your first word is rescue. Rescue. And let's see if you can spell it first. And once we check the spelling, then you can try marking it. Here it is. 
okay and now you can try marking it so just pause it to give yourself more time and here we go rescue has two syllables we've got res and q res has a short e so we're going to give it a brev and that is a closed syllable q is a diphthong or a vowel digraph so we're going to circle it and put a d underneath okay the next word is groups like there were five groups of people waiting at the door okay here it is and take your time pause if you need to to mark it and here I go so groups is one syllable so I'm going to scoop that and it has a diphthong in it which I'm going to circle and that means that it's a D syllable there's one more thing we need to do right we need to circle the s because it's a suffix okay the next word is and be careful with this one hooked hooked many kids are hooked on minecraft for example hooked okay here it is now how are you going to mark it think about this hmm well the first thing we need to do is figure out how many syllables it is and it's just one okay so we put one scoop there and we've got a vowel digraph there or a diphthong so we're going to put a circle around that and that makes it a d syllable and then we have to put a circle around the ed because that's a suffix okay here's your next one spooky spooky this is a word we've had before are you ready to see it here it is okay spooky how are we going to mark this well we've got spoo and then we've got E and spook has a vowel diphthong and that's our D syllable now the Y here is actually a suffix that's added to the base word spook okay so we would circle it and we don't need to mark this vowel sound but if we did we would mark it as a long e because it's not spook i right all right the next word is chewing chewing she gave me a stick of chewing gum all right here it is hopefully you realized that it was just chew with an ing so we're going to scoop chew and we're going to circle ew because that's a diphthong and we're going to put a d there and ing as we know is a suffix so we're going to put a circle around that the last word and probably the toughest one to spell here continue continue please continue to study every day okay here it is did you get this one right now this is also a difficult one to mark so continue is three syllables we have con tin and you let's start with con that's a short o so we put a brev there and that makes this a closed syllable 
tin, we have a short I, because we're not saying continue. So that also gets a brev. And that is also a closed syllable. And then the last one, U, has a vowel digraph. So that's a D syllable. OK, pretty challenging. I wonder how you did. Again, don't worry too much about the marking. It is good to practice it, which is why I assign it for homework. And you will need it later. And you know, it's funny, the word continue always reminds me of video games. Like when I get to the end and I haven't completed, it asks me if I want to continue. And of course, I almost always say yes. Yeah, something like this. And of course I want to continue because if I don't, you know what'll happen? It'll be game over. Bye.